the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 100, 1 Samuel 27 to 31. Sad news that reached outside David. While David was in the land of the Philistines on defection, a war broke out between Israel and the Philistines, and the period of Saul came to a cross. First point. David made a second political negotiation with the Philistine king, and so was able to stay there for a second political exile. Eight years ago, David fled to the land of the Philistines without any backup plan and had to go as far as acting insane in order to keep himself alive. But after eight years, David had a group of his own followers and had enough political status to make a negotiation with the Philistine king. This time around, he officially negotiated with the Philistine king to let him and his 600 men come for exile in their country. David asked the king of Gath in Philistine, whose name was Akishi, to enable him and his men to live in Ziklag, which was away from where the king was living. For Akishi, if David was on the outskirts of the country, he would be able to protect that side. For David, due to the location of Ziklag being geographically right next to Israel, David would be able to maintain relations. So it was a good deal on both ends. Ziklag was initially given to the tribe of Judah and then given to the tribe of Simeon. But even until the days of Saul, this part of land was still unconquered and in the hands of the Philistines. David stayed there for a year and four months, and after that, the land became the property of the tribe of Judah. Even afterwards, when Babylon ruled, the land of Ziklag became the land for the tribe of Judah. David and his men stayed in Ziklag for a year and four months, and on the surface, it appeared that David was doing the Philistines a favor, but this was not the case. This was indeed a political deal. Second point, as Saul was unable to persuade David unto his side, he ended up seeking a spirit conjurer. Saul had to deal with the Philistines attacking Israel all throughout his monarchy. David was outstanding against the Philistines, so it really would have been in Saul's best interests to keep David on his side. He moreover would not have had to seek a spirit conjurer before heading for battle. The reason Saul once again faced the battle with the Philistines was because the Philistines were confident that they would be able to win Israel, as they did not have David on their side, with David being in the land of the Philistines for exile. This battle was the battle of Gilboa between Israel and the Philistines. When things became serious for Saul, he turned to God, but God had already left Saul. Saul was not able to hear a single answer. He inquired of the Lord, but the Lord did not answer him, by dreams or urim or prophets. Saul therefore turned to a spirit conjurer. Indeed, 
Seoul did something he really should not have done as a citizen of a kingdom of priestess. During the early days of Seoul's monarchy, he was obedient to God, but he had changed so much that he went as far as to look for other spirits. This was incredibly unfortunate. Third point, David once pretended to be insane and then pretended to be royal in front of the king of Philistine in order to save his life. During the year and four months David was in Ziglag, he faced another dangerous situation. When the Philistines went to war against Israel, David was commanded to join the battle. This was indeed a huge conflict of interest scenario during David's political life. When Akish commanded all the soldiers to align for battle, David had to take his 600 men and be on standby. The fact that David was an exile meant that he really was not at liberty to make up his own mind. But luckily, the people of Philistine did not want David to be with them. They requested to Akishi that David and his men return to Jiglak, and so the king did as the people requested. Because this battle against Israel involved the five countries, Akish was not in the position to take full control. Akish would have internally regretted that David could not be with them, although David acted as if he was offended. He was actually relieved of this outcome. Thankfully, he was able to get out of this situation. Fourth point, David is faced with the threat of internal conflict after returning from almost battling with Israel. David almost faced the situation of fighting against Israel, but luckily he was able to escape and go back to Sigla. David had experienced countless hardships during his lifetime, but this instance of almost having to fight with his own people could have ended up being his worst. David took the 600 men who were with him to Ziklag, but there he faced another difficult situation. During the three days, David went to see King Akishi. The Amalekites had seized Ziklag and were attacking the area. Fortunately, there were no dead bodies in Zigla. This showed that no one had been killed. The Amalekites had spared their lives in order to sell them as slaves. When the 600 men came back to find that their families were not there, they blamed David and tried to stone him. This was an internal disaster. Amidst such a situation, David once again turned to God and asked for courage. After hearing God's answer, David went with the men to attack the Amalekites in order to bring back the people. In the process of doing so, 200 became so exhausted that they had to be left behind. But thankfully, David came across an Egyptian boy who informed him of how to find the Amalekites. In the end, David was able to save the people as well as bring back an enormous amount of goods. When the people came back, some said to David that the 200 who did not go with them should not receive the goods. But David persuaded them and they all ended up getting a share. David furthermore provided shares for the people of Judah, which strengthened their relationship. Fifth point, Saul, who tried to kill Samuel and David, ended his own life at the age of 80. Saul, 
who was the first king of Israel, spent the last 40 years doing whatever he could to maintain his political power. He abused his political power to the full extent and even tried to kill Samuel and David in doing so. But Saul ended his own life as well as his three sons being killed by the Philistines. The Philistines saw great victory at the Battle of Gilboa. Coming to the end of Saul's life, we reflect on his early days, when God chose him due to his humble and obedient character. Indeed, Saul had forgot that all was given by God, and God had all the authority to take it away from him. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.